hip-hop legend Lil Wayne is in the news once again. Wheezy is potentially facing 10 years in prison, he's being sued by his ex-manager, and he is also selling his masters. What does this mean for the Young Money General? What's up culture? Thanks for joining us for some more news. Take a hot second to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all the hip-hop news, beef, and drama. Let's figure out what Lil Toonchi has been up to. Lil Wayne is currently facing up to 10 years in federal prison where he pleaded guilty to illegal gun possession on Friday. Lil Wayne's status is no secret given the bangers he's given us for over a decade, so naturally, he does things with style. I say all this because prosecutors say he carried a gold-plated 45 caliber Glock handgun onto a private flight and the thing was loaded. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Florida, Wayne reportedly pled guilty in Miami Federal Court. He was charged with one count of possession of a firearm and ammunition as a felon. Miami police received an anonymous tip to search the private jet that Wayne would be on. Unfortunately for Wayne, being strapped on a plane is not some isolated incident. Because if you go back a year ago, same month even, this man was arrested in California for carrying a gun in his luggage at the Opelika Executive Airport. This current charge was announced back in November of this year, and Howard Srebnik, Lil Wayne's attorney, stated, The charge is that because he was convicted of a felony in the past. He is prohibited from possessing a firearm. Howard also mentioned that his client had not been accused of brandishing or using the gun and questioned why convicted felons had been stripped of their Second Amendment rights. The felony in question goes back to October 2009, where he pled guilty to a gun charge as part of a deal with New York prosecutors, and that charge stemmed from his arrest in 2007, where a 40 caliber pistol was found on his tour bus outside of New York City's Beacon Theater. Wayne's attorney said that at the time, the gun had belonged to someone else, but Wayne accepted a plea agreement and was sentenced to a year in prison. Wayne only served eight months before he was released. If you'll remember not too long ago, Lil Wayne appeared with President Trump, endorsing his potential re-election. One would think that this is a prime opportunity for Trump to use his power to help his boy out. However, Howard Srebnik has said he was not aware of any attempt by the White House to intervene on Carter's behalf in this case. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida said that no one from the White House had called or intervened. Looks like Lil Wayne will be left to his own devices to pull through this one, but thankfully, with Wayne pleading guilty, he may serve a lighter sentence. This news is coming off where we recently learned that Ronald Sweeney, a well-known name in the legal system of the entertainment industry, is suing Lil Wayne for more than $20 million. A few years ago, there was a legal dispute regarding Cash Money Records and Birdman over the payout that Lil Wayne's label, Young Money, was receiving. We thought everything was settled in May 2018 where the lawsuit was settled amongst the parties. However, Ronald Sweeney has come out to say that he only received a few payments from Wayne and has a long way to go before he is fully compensated. Lil Wayne hired Sweeney back in 2005 as a manager, and Sweeney helped get through the Birdman debacle, so you'd think Wayne would have no issue paying back what he owes. 